Okay, folks, today I'm going to share with you my collection of circulated Lincoln cents. I'm currently housing these coins in a Library of Coins coin album. Um, this particular type of album was common in the 1950s, and this particular album is from 1958. Uh, my collecting focus is on the early date Lincoln wheat cents. I know this album says 1909 to 1940, but in reality what I consider to be the early dates are uh, from 1909 to 1933, and that is my focus <coughs> um, collecting these coins in high circulated grade with a minimum of extra fine, um, although at some point I'd like to um, have all of them in about uncirculated grade or AU. Okay, so um, here we go. You'll see there's some empty slots here. Uh, the first coin is 1909 VDB. About 28 million of these were minted. Um, pretty famous coin. Most numismatists and coin collectors uh, are aware of the story behind this one. Um, the designer, Victor David Brenner, <coughs> he put his initials on the reverse of the coin, and this caused quite a public uproar that ultimately led to the initials being removed um, but before they were removed they coined 28 million of, um, of this particular type and this one here this is uh, in about uncirculated grade I'd call it an AU55 uh, maybe a little better I don't know if you can quite see it here but there's plenty of mint luster on the coin and it's in a great circulated state Here's the King of Lincoln's 1909 SVDB. You can see I don't have this coin currently, although um, it will be in my sights. Not quite sure if I want to get it in 2010, but um, I will get it, and my preferred grade is extra fine. Um, extra fine minimum, although uh, I would also like perhaps to get it in about uncirculated, and the current market value extra fine is about thirteen hundred dollars and I would surmise that in about uncirculated you're talking about mm, an eighteen hundred dollar coin in that neighborhood here's a nineteen oh nine Lincoln this is also AU this is without the VDB nineteen oh nine S that's a semi key in the series only about a million and three quarters were minted um, I had my sights on this one uh, in the short term I'm gonna pick this one up in um, early 2010 uh, just to comment on collecting circulated Lincoln's for those that do um, one of the things that you really want to focus on at least in my view you want to focus on quality you can find mostly any of these dates including the semi keys and keys um, you can find them quite readily they're not rare or scarce there were multiple millions coined um, but really where um, where the connoisseurship lies is sifting through all of the problem coins. You want quality coins, lack of marks, lack of scratches or dents or rim dings. I disregard those right away. I look for nice surface quality, nice even color, uh, make sure the coin isn't cleaned. Um, I typically find my coins at uh, local brick and mortar dealers, uh, local coin shows, eBay. Now eBay you have to be careful because frankly um, there's some unscrupulous sellers on, on there and you know they're just trying to make a buck. You, you need to make sure that the, the picture is, is large and, and high quality and, and they're not playing any tricks. So, um, But, but eBay is a fine source to acquire coins. Many, many of these coins were acquired on eBay um, so you know that shouldn't dissuade you. Here you go. Here's a 1910S. This is in uh, called XF condition. Still need a 1911. Here's a 1911D. I don't know if you can really see this here on the video, but this coin has tremendous eye appeal. Um, I call it an XF. I think it is a solid XF, but the eye appeal is, is really great. It sort of has an antique look to it. Um, it's strongly struck, strong mint mark, strong D, which oftentimes on this particular date and mint, um, you'll, have, uh, you'll have to sort through quite a few coins in order to find a strong mint mark. Here's an 11S. This one is VF. I need to upgrade this one, and, and I will do that. Um, as I will with some of these other ones, but a lot of them I'm pretty happy with. Here's a 12D. This is a better date, XF condition. 
12S. Um, I have a 12S on the way that I ordered in AU condition, waiting for that to arrive. Here's a 1913 AU50, 13D, 13S. Call this, this is XF, semi key, 6 million minute. Um, 1914, that's XF45, borderline AU, 14D, another semi key. Have my sights on that in the short term. 14S, semi key. 1915, this is a better date P mint coin. Um, only 29 million minted, still a lot, but uh, in terms of P mints, um, that was a relatively small minage. A lot of these didn't survive, um, circulated very heavily. Um, the collectors back in this time, they really weren't focused on the modern coins of the day, so they just circulated and circulated. And, and you can find them in, in good, very good, fine condition. But once you start getting up to um, XF, choice XF, AU, becomes a little more difficult, in some cases a lot more difficult. 1919 AU50, 1919S, there was a lot of them in it, that was right after the war, so uh, World War I restocked the economy with circulating coinage, 20D, 20S, missing the 21, missing the 21S, here's a 22D, that's a better date, 22 plain, that's a variety in the grade and state of preservation that I'd like, that's a couple thousand dollar coin. Um, I will pick it up at some point, but that's not one of my main goals. That'll maybe be my last coin that I pick up. Um, just don't tell the wife that I'm going to buy that one. May not be too happy about it. 23, 23S, 24AU, 24D, that's a semi-key. Sights on that short term. 24S, I believe I picked that up from JJT Party, one of my favorite dealers for circulated Lincolns. Um, 25, that's a great AU55, AU58. Need a 25D, there's a 25S, that's a T Party coin as well. 26, that's an AU58. Um, here's a 26S, that's a semi key date. It has wood grain toning, copper striations, improper alloy mix, um, gives it an antique look. Here's a 1927, 27S, a little better date there. 1928. Here is a 1928S, that is the um, small S variety, 29D, need the 29S, and then the final row here, 1930, that's AU50, I need 30D, 30S, 31, 31D, there's a 31S semi-key, um, not, as, not as key as some of the other earlier dates because at by this point, um, people were saving Lincolns, and uh, a lot of these were saved as soon as they hit circulation or, or even in mint state. Here's a 1932. Um, that's a AU50 coin. Got that the other day. That was an eBay purchase. Here's a 32D. This is one I'm going to need to upgrade. Um, quality about this is is so-so. has some spotting on it. Um, it's hard to determine, but it may have even been cleaned at one point, so um, certainly don't want a clean coin in my collection. Um, but for the time being it can sit in the hole and uh, when I find a better example and the quality I'm looking for um, I'll upgrade it. There's a 33D and that's where I plan on stopping this set. Um, 1934 you can see the holes here as it said on the cover of the album. Uh, it goes all the way up to 1940. Um, that's really not my focus here. My focus is the early wheats and I think most would consider the early wheats ending um, as of 1933. So um, that's my circulated Lincoln collection so far. Library of Coins album. Hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll post a progress update in a few months. Thanks a lot.